Hello, everyone. My name is Daddy. I was blind, but I went to visit the relics on the 16th of January at St. Joseph's Maranac Catholic Church in Phoenix. But when I got to the church, I said, please God, hear me. I'm giving in to you. Please help me. Not only for me, but for my kids. I have an eight-year-old daughter, a 10-year-old son, and an 11-year-old son, and a 13-year-old son. And the doctor tells me, you're no longer going to be able to see. Because I said, I'm 30 years old. I can't be blind. I have my kids. I kept asking God, please. But when I got there to the church, it was different. Because my sister-in-law told Father Wissam to pray for me. He told me that Father Wissam was on my left, but I didn't feel nobody in my left. I felt something in my right. And ever since then, I started feeling my body differently. He put the holy oil on my eyes, in my head, and in my hands. He told my daughter, your mom loves you. Take care of her right now because she'll be taking care of you later. She's going to be seen later. And he told me, have faith. I went to confession and still, I was still feeling my body different. At 4 o'clock in the morning, I woke him up like, hey, my eyes are burning. And he's like, it can't be. You don't have no sensation in your eyes. It, it, just go back to sleep. I'm like, no, they're burning. I can't see you clearly, but I know that you're there. <laughs> that morning was on the 18th of January, Martin Luther King State. Call the doctor. He's like, babe, it's 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> what was the reason that you want to make your appointment? And I'm like, because I'm, I'm able to see. <laughs> and the lady kept on telling me, no, Daphne, you're blind. We have it in our nose. They make my appointment for Tuesday. I walk in there with no cane. The doctor tells me, wow, what happened? What doctor did you go to? What did, what did they do to you? I went to no doctor. They did test. I failed my test. Cause like I said, I didn't see clearly. I saw shadows. They said, okay, come back Thursday. The doctor couldn't believe that my vision was 2020 from both eyes. <laughs> Optic nerve didn't have no signs of damage. What doctor did you go to? What did they do to you? I didn't go to no doctor. I said, I went to visit with the relics of St. Charbo. I'm like, I don't know who he was. I'm like, but he's the one that told God to help me, to listen. And that's how I have my vision back. But the most important thing that I, I think was how I got here was confession. Confession to help me a lot because confession takes us to healing and to have faith. If you have faith, if you go to confession, take your blessing. God hears all the time. He might take a while. But he does hear it. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know if you heard that. She said that the last time when she was with Mar Yusuf, and in Phoenix, she wasn't able to see St. Shadowbelt. She was able to touch him. Now she sees him. And she sees the real.